Episode 9 of Chainsaw Man was just top tier fighting. We see so much happen between Denji, Makima, and of course, Kobini. But let's start with Denji. When Denji wakes up, we get to see him go all out against the fight against Katana Man. But sadly, Denji's fighting skills get him quickly sliced in half in the fight thinking he wouldn't be attacked because he had one of Katana Man's subordinates hostage. So while Denji's getting beat, we also get to see more about Makima. A glimpse into who she really is and how crazy of a character she actually is. We see her get shot back in episode 8 and you think that's the last of her but episode 9 reveals that she is somehow alive and was able to kill off the assassins without any problems leaving huge holes in their bodies. Leaves you thinking, wondering what devil could she possibly be in a contract with that can bring you back from the dead and give you the abilities to have powerful attacks like the ones she displays. I actually did read the manga a while ago so I already know what's gonna happen but seeing it animated so well is just dope as fuck it was like i never even read the manga was how well they did the episodes i was just captivated the whole time wondering what's gonna happen next makima is really one scary character though that's for sure and so after we get a glimpse into how crazy of a character makima is with her way of killing her way of how she does business we later on get to see one of the fan favorite characters kobini and to be honest probably one of my top favorite characters at this point also we see that she was able to escape the attack against her and hirokazu because because Hirokazu got in the way of the bullets getting shot twice saving her in the process and it's kind of weird because even though she was able to quickly get behind the old lady that was shooting at them and blow her brains out like without hesitation it's so wild seeing a timid and always scared Kobini out of nowhere get into like a trance and become an instant extreme killing machine and then later on even when she goes up against Katana Man and Akane she is seen with her big ass butcher knife from far away and while she looks like she's having a panic attack she's sweating she's nervous she's able to spring into action immediately without hesitation Akane quickly attacks her with the snake but Kobini does some wild ass acrobatic moves, jumps and flips and quickly slices Katana Man's arm in the process and even shoots him with his own gun. Some extremely extremely dope exciting stuff here. This episode was so good because we just don't expect that from Kobini. It's her first time actually killing anybody in the series if I'm not mistaken. We also don't even get to know how Kobini became so strong and so agile as a part of her devil contract. Not much has really been said about that at this point in the story. Is she just naturally gifted as a person? Was she trained as a kid? I don't think so because in a lot of the episodes she was told to be extremely poor to the point where she would have to you know wear her sister's hand-me-downs and they didn't have enough money to send her sister to college and that's why she's a devil hunter to begin with it's like she almost even has a double personality that comes out when she's ready to kill and then quickly she goes back to her usual scared and anxious ways i think as the story progresses way down the line she may become a big asset to the story more than what i think she already is and more than what i think most of us think she will be part of she just stands out way too much to not be put into more of an important role later on too much mystery surrounding her right now i just can't see her just ending up dead like the rest of the characters and not providing more to the story there has to be some explanation of who she really is i feel like they're not being 100 percent truthful of the mysteries behind her well that's really all i have to say i just wanted to talk about it it was just an awesome episode i can't wait for the next one like and subscribe if you like this video and see you again next time peace